Okay, here's something I found very interesting. Uh, John Bedini wants us to take a look at uh, diodes and how the crystal in a diode works. And uh, I did some research on it today, and uh, there's been a lot of uh, study done, and I've studied it too, on a, just an LED as a solar cell. And I tried uh, green and white, but I found out a red, a red LED will put out that much voltage under load uh, in direct sunlight and that's running this oscillator you can hear it with this radio here it picks up the radio signal that that's the loaded voltage on that capacitor right there with this red LED in direct sunlight I can vary the frequency here I have a little oscillator but uh, let me show you the voltage here when it's unloaded. Aim that up at the sun. That's this uh, LED just pointed at the sun. And it's enough to run that oscillator. Hear that winding down. That's how efficient this little oscillator is. Runs in the microamps. Um, basically just like the penny oscillator but I'm using a different uh, coil arrangement here but yeah well, this was quite a find to find out that this uh, red LED uh, will put out that much power and run uh, run the oscillator like that so I tested it with the crystalline cell and the uh, only thing I get with a crystalline cell is an increase in voltage due to heat that's uh, the heating of the Sun but I didn't get this effect like this with this uh, LED. So anyway, I just want to share that with people. That, uh, take a look at Don, John Bedini's uh, links to the experiments using diodes, specifically LED diodes. Thanks for watching.